the Croat has praised his mentor on social media in a heartfelt post that was published on Thursday. Borna Cioric, photo by Chrysline Kayo, copyright at Sport Vision, world number 12 Borna Cioric has confirmed that he has suspended working with one member of his coaching team due to medical reasons. The 22-year-old has confirmed that coach Christian Schneider will not be traveling on the tour with him this season due to health issues, Cioric didn't elaborate in his statement as to what those issues were. Schneider, who is the former coach of Anna Kanyu, has been a member of his team since the end of 2017, working alongside veteran Italian coach Riccardo Piatti. I am really sad to announce that Kiki Schneider is not going to travel with me for the rest of the season due to some health issues. George wrote on social media. He is still a vital part of my team and hopefully next season he will come back and we will rock stronger than ever. We've known each other since I was a kid and Kiki was always there for me when I needed help. In the last 15 months since we've been working together on a daily basis, he made a huge impact on my career and was a big part of the great season we've had. Stay strong my friend, guided by his team, George has enjoyed a solid past 12 months. claiming the biggest title of his career yet at the Jerry Weber Open in Halley and he was also runner-up at the Shanghai Masters. The Croat also scored six wins over top 10 opposition throughout 2018. At the BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells, George suffered a straight sets loss to Ivo Kolovic in his opening match. A disappointing outcome following his semi-final appearance at the Dubai Tennis Championships earlier this month. George will return to action next week at the Miami Masters in what will be his fifth main draw appearance in the tournament, which will be held at the Hard Rock Stadium for the first time. Last year he reached the quarterfinals before losing to Alexander Zarev. Practice cam, at Borna underscore George getting to business early. Dominic Team photo by Chrysline Kayo, copyright at Sport Vision. After what has been a rocky start to 2019 for Dominic Team, the Austrian seems to have returned back to top form at the BNP Paribas Open. Hampered by illness during the early stages of the season, the world number 8 had only won 3 out of 7 matches coming into the tournament. Nevertheless, Team has powered his way into the quarterfinals of Indian Wells without dropping a set. His latest triumph was a 6-4, 6-3, win over tour veteran Ivo Kolovic. Winning an impressive 85% of his service points without facing a single break point. I have so much respect from him because he's 40, still competing in the world class. Theme said of Kolovic, I was curious how the match was going to be. It was my first match against him on the tour, I made two breaks in the right moment. On my serve, I was very solid. It was at Indian Wells where Theme made his debut in a Masters 1000 event back in 2014. Since then, he has achieved a 11-5 win-loss record at the tournament. His win over Kolovic has sent the 25-year-old into the quarterfinals for only the second time in his career after 2017. It's pretty unique here with the Desert Air. Here I played my first ever Masters 1000 event, 2014. I've felt good from the first moment here. To me, it's like almost like a clay court, just where you cannot slide, because the bounce is pretty high, especially when it's sunny, when it's warmer during the day. Theme explained. Somehow it's strange because it's a slow court, but the ball is going fast through the air. It's very good conditions for me. Quote, saying with confidence that he has a good physical health, Theme faces a stern test in the next round. His opponent will be Francis Gale Monfils, a player who has already won 15 matches this year and claimed the Rotterdam Open title last month. Monfils booked his place in the quarterfinals with a clinical 6-0, 6-2 win over Philip Kohlschreiber. Kohlschreiber was the player who knocked Novak Djokovic out of the tournament. He has had a very good season so far. When Rotterdam played good Dubai, when he's on, I think everybody knows what he's capable of, said Theme. It's hard to hit a winner against him. He's so fast and he can also put a lot of pressure on you. 
It's going to be a tough match and completely different, and for sure also great fun. Themes clash with Mo and Feast will be the last match played on the Premier Count in Indian Wells on Thursday. A win will elevate him to the semi-finals of a Masters 1000 for the fifth time in his career, but it would be the first time he has done so on an outdoor hard court. Milos Ronic beat Jan Leonard Struff 6 4 6 3 to come just one win away from reaching his fourth semi-final in his past four appearances at Indian Wells. Rock broke serve in the final game of the final set closing it out when Struff made a double fault. Ronick broke serve on Struff's first service game of the second set. Ronick won 85% of his first serve points and hit 12 aces. The Canadian will face Serbian lucky loser Miomir Kekmanovic, who was leading 6-4 when Yoshihito Nishioka was forced to retire due to a back injury. Karen Kachanov beat John Isner 6-4-7, 6 the young Russian player earned the only break of the match in the fifth game to clinch the first set 6-3. Kachanov saved one break point in the fourth game and two more chance in the eighth game to hold his service games. The second set went on serve with no break point chances until the tie break where Kachanov cruised to a 7-1 win. Roger Federer eased into the Indian Wells quarterfinal with a comfortable straight sets victory over Kyle Edmund. Roger Federer at Ben Perry Boss Open on Twitter, Roger Federer continued his pursuit of title number 101 with a comprehensive 6-1-6-4 victory over rising star Kyle Edmund at Indian Wells. The Swiss, 37, won his 100th tournament in Dubai last month and he has taken that form to California this week. As far as the Brit is concerned, it was his first encounter with the 20-time Grand Slam champion and, although he lost in straight sets, he will have learned plenty from the experience. Federer stormed out of the blocks with an easy hold and a swift break to go 2-0 up. Edmund then fought for every point in the third game, but failed to convert any of the three break points he earned. The set was gone for the Brit at that stage. The world number, 4 broke him again and then comfortably held twice more to wrap it up 6-1 in just 28 minutes. Thurer withstands Edmund Serge Kyle Edmund at BBC Sport on Twitter, Edmund made a much better start to the second set. He played two excellent games on serve and stayed with Federer for a while. As he has done so many times in his career, the 20-time Grand Slam champion then raised his level to break the Britain race through a service game to open up a 4-2 lead. Edmund kept the match alive with a hold and then engineered a chance to break in Game 8. However, Federer produced a big serve to save and then won the next two points in a matter of seconds to move within a game of victory. The Swiss player should have had to wait longer than he did for the win, as the Brit fashioned a superb chance to level the match when he earned three break points in Game 10. Unfortunately for Edmund, he was unable to take any of them, and Federer was not in any mood to give him another chance. He played two clinical points to seal the win. Kachanov charges into last eight Karen Kachanov at Ben Perry Boss Open on Twitter, elsewhere in Indian Wells, there was disappointment for the home crowd as the only American left in the draw, John Isner, lost 6-4-7-6-1 to the ever-improving Karen Kachanov. The Russian, 22, rose from 48 to 11 in the rankings during a mightily impressive 2018 which culminated in an extraordinary week at the Paris Masters, when he beat Isner, Alexander Zarev, Dominic Thiem and Novak Djokovic to claim the title. Kachanov was impressive again today. He dominated on his serve throughout the match, attacked efficiently to break Isner once in the first set, and then controlled the second set tie break from start to finish. The world number 13 will be joined in the last eight by Milos Ronic, who beat Jan Leonard Struff 6-4-6-3.